Okay, this is one of those moments where I say, take my money, please. Um, I love this game, Field Commander Napoleon. Uh, definitely need to do a video on it sometime. Um, has several campaigns throughout the Napoleonic era, and it's a lot of fun. There's a, a tactical part to the game, not just strategic. The tactical is really the, the meat and potatoes of this game, and it's a lot of fun to play. I really enjoy playing it. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because this came out... Field Commander Robert E. Lee, Civil War. And uh, they say they're going to do uh, Ulysses S. Grant, and I am very excited for this game. They do have an all-in. I didn't go for the all-in. Don't know if I'll regret that, but um, this looks more intricate than Napoleon. Uh, definitely an upgrade. The uh, strategic... Maps look very different. And then, of course, you've got um, the tactical map, which is very different. Uh, these will probably change, they said. But here's a tactical map, and you can see it's very different than the tactical map of Napoleon. Napoleon was just basically how close you are to each other, how far into the field, into the enemy's camp did you go. Whereas, I'm not sure how this is going to work. Um, this says used with battle packs. Um, so the battle packs are supposed to be, uh, lunchtime. Yeah, I'm, I'm at a loss of how the mechanics of that are going to work, but, uh, it looks like possibly this is the battle map now. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it's all going to come together because this looks like a battle map to me that you would put your troops into each of these slots. Um, but it says campaign, so maybe this is a camp... Gosh, I don't know. This looks like Chancellorsville. Um, Antietam. These are the battle maps. These are the, the battles themselves. So I don't know... Yeah, these don't look like campaigns to me. I don't know. I have no clue. I'm going into this blind, but um, I really liked... I like all the field commanders. Love the uh, fleet commander Nimitz, even though that didn't get such high ratings. Uh, I It's one of my favorite games. And so I just thought I'd put it out there that the uh, DVG, the uh, Kickstarter, is going on right now. Um, they have... These stretch goals, they're going to mount the maps. That's usually the first one. And then Battle of Winchester, Advanced Combat Rules, um, more tactical. Battle of Upperville is going to be in there. Mounted Battlefield Sheet. Okay, so, yeah, I really don't know what's going on here. Exactly how this looks. This looks more like Napoleon. And then you get a special custom die. And so we're up to quick combat resolutions, rules and tables. Not really interested in that. Battle of Hanover, that'd be nice. And that's it. That's Those are all the, the stretch goals. And so it's on Kickstarter right now. Let me see if I get the deals. Let's see. Where does it say? Um, July 29th. Okay. So it's already got its $20,000 goal, so it's going to be printed. DVG has an un unparalleled um, record of getting their games published through Kickstarter. Uh, the only thing is, is that they usually don't deliver when they say they're going to deliver it. Um, there's always something that comes up, whether it's shipping or the printing or the uh, rules that need to be changed. You know, they're they're always trying to make sure that they get the um, the product as high quality as they can before they they throw it into your hands. So that they, they say it's going to be January of 2024 that this will be delivered. 
based on their history, I would expect it more in the springtime sometime, March, April, maybe, would be my guess. Uh, would be a nice Christmas surprise to get around Christmas. Um, but yeah, so as long as it it's less than a year, I would imagine nine months. This is, this is not a, a brand new style of game like uh, Warfighter Fantasy or Spruance Leader. Those were more revolutionary. I put it in quotes, revolutionary for them. They put in a lot of different mechanics that needed to be ironed out before it came out. It, it, this one, there looks like there are going to be improved mechanics, but nothing super fancy, maybe? I don't know. I could be wrong. That, that tactical map does look... Um, a lot more involved. So we'll see. I'm I'm gonna get the uh, regular pack. I'm not getting the battle packs, which includes several battles. Let me see if I get there. Uh, battle packs. You've got um, Seven Days, Second Manassas, Antietam, Chancellorsville, Gettysburg, and then an empty extra box for storage. But it looks like they, it confused me at first because I thought you had to get the battle packs in order to play. Like the main components came with the main game and then the, you had to get the battle packs in order to play, making a $90 game into a $200 game. But that's not the case. Uh, you, I think the battle packs are just there to um, simplify the game and make it uh, much faster so you can play it uh, within an hour you know, setup is easy, breakdown is easy, and play is easy. So that's that's my impression of what the battle packs are. So definitely check it out and uh, tell me what you think. Are you going to uh, get involved in Robert E. Lee Field Commander? Why or why not?